Jiminy Cricket delivers the opening narration as the movie starts. He initially appears as a lonesome, homeless cricket searching for a place to dwell. Jiminy discovers the residence of Geppetto, a widowed woodcarver, who resides there with his cat Figaro and goldfish Cleo. Geppetto is currently making a little wooden puppet in the likeness of his late son. Then, when a man attempts to purchase one of Geppetto's cuckoo clocks from his shop, Geppetto finds excellent sentimental value in it and declines to sell it. He chooses the name Pinocchio when he completes the puppet. You're a boy made out of pine. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Hey, no, come and don't be such a scary cat. Geppetto puts a wish on a star as he gets ready for bed. A short while later, Pinocchio comes to life as a flash of blue light strikes the photo of Geppetto's son and bounces inside the puppet. When Jiminy attempts to speak to Pinocchio after being startled by him, he just repeats what Jiminy says. After then, the blue fairy comes inside and uses her power to free Pinocchio from his chains and give him a clear speech. She advises Pinocchio to be brave, honest, and selfless to be a true boy for his father. In addition, the fairy adjusts Jiminy's attire and names him Pinocchio's conscience. Jumping jeepers! He's alive! No, you can talk! No, you can talk! I know! Well, I'm the blue fairy. No, I'm the blue fairy. Oh, I see. The perfect name for a boy with a wooden head. I'm a boy? A uh, waltz. Huh? Me? Uh, I'm not a conscience. I'm a cricket. I hereby appoint uh -huh. you Pinocchio's conscience. Uh Rise, Sir Jiminy Cricket. When Geppetto awakens, he is shocked but overjoyed to discover that Pinocchio is actually alive. He sends him off to school with the other kids because he wants him to have a typical childhood. Jiminy pursues and encounters Sophia, a seagull that Geppetto is friendly with. To find Pinocchio, she flies Jiminy. In the meantime, Pinocchio is spotted by two swindlers named Honest John and Gideon, who intend to use him as a draw for the puppeteer Stromboli. They approach the wooden youngster and invite him to join them. Before Jiminy catches up with them and tells him to comply with Geppetto's request if he wants to be a real boy, Pinocchio almost follows them. Thanks, Sophie! Yeah. ideas about being famous and get to school. I want to go to school. Now we're talking. Over. Pinocchio declines their offer and attempts genuinely to enroll in school. But the heartless headmaster expels him because he claims that education is just for actual children. Sincere John and Gideon capture Jiminy in a jar and take Pinocchio with them. Pinocchio joins Stromboli's production and prepares for his debut in front of a large audience. He meets Fabiana, a young woman who was a dancer before a leg accident put a stop to her career. She now performs with Sabina, a puppet ballerina. When Pinocchio goes to perform, he stumbles and gets his nose stuck in a floorboard until Sabina comes to his aid. Other puppets join him in the performance, and the audience adores him. To keep Pinocchio from fleeing, Stromboli, who is violent, places him inside a cage. Geppetto worries when Pinocchio doesn't come back to his house. He walks by the school to look for him with Figaro and Cleo but is unsuccessful in doing so. He also ignores Jiminy's attempts to grab his attention. Later, Jiminy is jarred off by Stromboli's stage coach, which allows him to board it and locate Pinocchio. When Jiminy comes across him, the puppet acts as though he didn't like the popularity or even want it, which makes his nose get longer. This gives Pinocchio the notion to tell a falsehood so that his nose will lengthen and allow Jiminy to get the cage's keys and release him. When Pinocchio and Jiminy leave, they pass another stage a coach carrying a number of little boys and girls. Pinocchio accepts the coachman's invitation to join and makes friends with Lampwick, a troubled youngster. The coachman feels agitated when Pinocchio exhibits mistrust for him and sings his spiel to the puppet to persuade him to go with them. The kids are then driven to Pleasure Island by the coachman. Well done! 
Geppetto is discovered by Sophie back at his house, and she offers him a brochure for Pleasure Island to let him know where Pinocchio is going. The coachman is attempting to convince the children that Pleasure Island is a theme park with everything they could ever want. Pinocchio finds it amusing at first, but he soon starts to worry about how the kids act. While attempting to return to Pinocchio, Jiminy stumbles onto a salt mine where children are being changed into donkeys and used as slaves by enigmatic black mist beings. While playing pool with Pinocchio, Lampwick also transforms into a donkey. Until Jiminy helps him escape, Pinocchio develops ears and a tail. Pinocchio and Jiminy escape the coachman's and vapor creatures pursued by reaching the water. Let's get out of here. The following day, Fabiana and Sabina discover Pinocchio and let him know that Stromboli had been detained and that they were now embarking on a tour with their own puppet show. When Pinocchio declines their invitation to join them because he must return to Geppetto, his ears and tail vanish as a result of his noble deed. Before Sophie discovers him and Jiminy, who claims Geppetto has gone sailing out to sea in search of Pinocchio, he bids final goodbye to Fabiana and Sabina. For Pinocchio to be able to run across the water, he grabs a rope and has Sophia pull it. Geppetto is located by Pinocchio and Jiminy, who meet up with him and inform him about his experience. The dreadful sea monster Monstro soon engulfs oh, yeah. Pinocchio devises a plan to free them by creating a fire in Monstro's mouth, which would make the monster spit them out. It succeeds, but Monstro sees them and pursues them. Oh, I think. Come on, father! Let's get our boat into position! Geppetto is unconscious when they return to land. Pinocchio is upset and sobs over his father. But Geppetto is awakened by Pinocchio's tear. Pinocchio has more than proven himself to be a real boy, says Geppetto. As they begin to make their way home, Pinocchio seems to be changing into a person. Jiminy concludes his story by remarking that while he cannot confirm whether or not Pinocchio became a genuine boy, but he knows deep down that Pinocchio is as brave, honest, and selfless as he intended to be. The movie end. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below, have a nice day.